Hey everyone, thank you so much for being here, thank you so much for watching. In this video I'm going to show you how you can, and how I did, connect my UPS to my Home Assistant using my Synology NAS. And what we're seeing on screen right now is actually the end result once the integration is complete. Now, just to be fair, I can tell you that it doesn't have to be a UPS that's specifically connected to a Synology NAS. You can connect your UPS to any device that's the, that supports the NAT protocol. I happen to have my UPS connected to my Synology NAS and Synology NAS devices do support it. If you don't already own uh, a UPS and you do have a Synology NAS, you can first, uh, first as first step, go to your favorite search provider and type Synology UPS comp compatibility list. The first result will take you right here and you will see all the UPS model models that are supported in Synology NAS devices. And if you want to see the difference between a UPS that's compatible and, and one that's not, here's my Synology NAS. And if I'll go to control panel and power and UPS, if I'll go to device information, I can see all the status of my UPS, including what model it is and how much the battery is charged, etc. And if I'll go to a Synology NAS that's connected to a non-compatible UPS, I will still get the functionality. But if I'll go to device information, I almost do not get any information back because the Synology doesn't know how to communicate with this UPS. So if you're going to do it, make sure you do, you'll get a compatible UPS device. So that's actually the first thing you should do. Once you have your Synology NAS and your UPS, I'm going to show you how to connect the two. So let's go ahead and, and see that. All right, guys, here's a, an old UPS I had lying around the house. And here's my Synology DS923+. Plus. Let me just flip the, US, the UPS and we can see the USB port on the UPS. And the Synology NAS, of course, has a USB port that's very regular. Let's grab the cable. And this cable comes with every UPS you can buy today. So just connect the UPS side with the UPS cable, of course, and the USB side to the Synology NAS. And that's it, actually. That's all we need to do. And now let's go to the Synology control panel and start configuring it. All right, so now your UPS is connected via USB to your Synology NAS. So what we need to do now is go to control panel where we were before, go to hardware and power and UPS. And if, and, and of course it will, it, pro it will probably not be checked on your Synology NAS. So make sure you check this enable USB support and it needs to default to USB UPS. That's great. Second thing, you need, second thing you need to do is go into permitted Synology NAS devices. And here you need to enter the IP addresses of your home assistant server or servers, if you have several of them. Basically any device you want to permit to query your Synology NAS using the NAT protocol. So type the IP addresses, click OK, click Apply. Now make sure your device brings or is able to query and show all the required information. And if that's, the, if that's where you are, that's great. It's time to jump to our Home Assistant. So here's my test Home Assistant instance. And what I'll, go, and what I'll do is go to Settings, Devices and Services, add integration, and you can simply type UPS. You'll find the network UPS tools. Click on that. Now type the IP address of your Synology NAS. If you're using complex firewalling between VLANs or something, make sure you open this port between your home assistant and your Synology NAS. Type a username and the username is 
a username on your Synology Synologines, not on your home assistant. And hopefully when I click submit, I should be able to get the integration up and running. Great, so I have the integration loaded and let's place the UPS in whatever location or area you see fit. And the integration is loaded, so let's click on it. And, I, and you see I get several uh, values back, but moreover, I get more entities that are not shown that you can, of course, enable. For example, I do want to see the battery voltage, for example, so I'll enable it. I do want to see all as well battery the battery runtime. Sorry, I'll enable that as well. And of course, you can enable whatever values you think are important to you. But these values that you've enabled need some time to start populating. So give it about 30, min 30 seconds or a minute and try to refresh your page. And if that is, didn't work, just give it more time. These values will eventually populate. Let's go back to our settings, devices, UPS, and you can see that now I get actual values from the entities I enabled. And once I have everything enabled and actually working, I can start creating automations. For example, when the UPS status changes, just as an example. So let's go ahead and do that. Let's click on automations plus and let's select when UPS battery charge battery level changes, for example. And I want to be alerted once it's below, I don't know, 50%. And then you will go ahead and type in, uh, adding your conditions. If you have any and things to do, I will imagine you will select notify send a notification and of course uh, the wording is up to you but that's actually how you integrate your ups using your synology nes to your home assistant and then being able to do stuff and create automations based on values of your ups i hope this was informative for you guys and i hope you enjoyed it if you did Please give this video a like and don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you all in my next video. Bye everyone.